Same people who own the labels own the prisons. Literally the same people? Literally the same people who own the labels own private prisons. The records that come out are really geared to push people towards that prison industry. But they didn't make you write those lyrics. It's not about making somebody write the lyrics. It's about being there as guardrails to make sure certain songs make it through and certain songs don't. Some records are made by committee, you, meaning record company guys sit around and tell the artists, this is hot, say that, do this. We're gonna have this guy write the lyrics. We're gonna have that. You have, you know, the record company pushing the narrative. You know, some social engineering going on here to make sure those prisons stay full. Boom, there it is. Another conspiracy, proven true. And Bill Maher's just now figuring this out. Bill Maher, stupid son of a bitch over here, boys. Here he is sitting with Ice Cube going, uh, 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 well, the uh, you're telling me there's a vast conspiracy to destroy the black neighborhoods with gangsta rap? Yes, idiot. That was a conspiracy theory when I was a kid. Right? I remember hiding the chronic under my bed. Not necessarily the smoke, boys, but the CD. What the hell's a CD? Shut up, kid. Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch. White kids smuggling gangsta rap in the early 90s. My parents didn't want me listening to music about drinking doing drugs and shooting rival gang members, rap gang members. My parents were like, nah, you probably shouldn't listen to that because that's fucking bad. <laughs> that's poison for your brain. And then you would hear in the background on, on Oprah or Phil Donahue's show, you would, you would hear these, uh, these right-wing conspiracy theorists saying the CIA created rap to destroy the black neighborhoods. Yes. Yes, it's true. Of course it's true. Of course it's true. Here's Ice Cube confirming it. Here's NWA yourself. A component of NWA saying, yes, yeah, yeah, the same people who own the record labels own the private prisons. Surprise, Bill, Bill Maher is the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. I don't think it's a coincidence that his production company is called Boy Lover. Boy Lover Production. Boy, not confused at all by where that sound anyhow. Here's this dumb dipshit looking like Jimmy Seville over here going, wow, wow, I don't know how this works. Hey, idiot. You got a bunch of shitbag politicians and lobbyists like, oh, I don't know, Joe Biden, the Clintons, the Bushes, Kamala heals up fucking Harris. Having a zero tolerance policy on drugs in the 90s. They were locking black motherfuckers up like Tic Tacs, boys. You know, black dudes selling weed on a stoop. We'll take the whole fucking house. These same people, the same people who are now saying, oh my God, we can't arrest black people. That's racism. They were locking motherfuckers up like left and right. And then you've got this music that is incentivizing, enticing. It, it's, it's put a, an aura of spectacle around doing drugs, selling drugs. The, the, the stupid, horrible rap culture that is absolutely decimating Young black youth promoting this culture with real bad outcomes. And now you've got the same people who own the labels, the record companies, and the same people who own the prisons. The same people who are the lobbyists with the zero tolerance policies. Yeah, no, th this, this couldn't possibly be an insidious plan to make a shit ton of money off of the backs of black people. Yeah, you dumb fucker, that's exactly what happened. And when people said this... People like Bill Maher and these other cucks would come out there and go, what are you conspiracy theorists? How do you think the CIA would do that? The CIA is tricking people to cut their dicks off today. What the hell's going on? What, uh, what gangster rap did to black communities 30 years ago, this woke nonsense is doing to white communities today. Right? Teaching kids uh, to go out there and sling drugs, shoot at each other, and fight fucking cops. Yeah, that's decimated... Baltimore and Detroit, parts of Chicago, it's, they completely destroyed these areas. And now today, the same, the same criminals, right? The, the CIA and these other globalist kid fuckers in Washington, D.C. behind, the, the people who own all of these media conglomerations that push this nonsense, they're sitting there going, hey, cut your dick off. Cut your dick off. It'll be great. And <laughs> this kid's like, oh, oh cut my fucking... They're, they're listening to the music. They're, they're, they're seeing it on TikTok. They're, they're seeing the... Culture is a weapon, but the culture has guardrails, as Ice Cube is saying. 
And these guardrails, they, they'll switch and they'll, they'll decide what, what information is hitting young youth right now. The, the algorithm on TikTok is doing that, right? If you, if you make a TikTok account talking about how, um, if you're in, if you know, if you're a, a black family out there, you know, get a job, get married, then have kids, that shit will never get promoted. That, that shit will never get promoted. They'll, that will never move up to the algorithm. like, no, 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 no. And then if you make a bunch of TikToks saying, hey, if you get pulled over by the cops because you don't have tags in your fucking car, fight the cop. Yeah, grab the cop's gun, attack the fucking cop. The cops are racist. That'll be promoted to the top. Again, you don't need a whole bunch of contracts saying, let's destroy uh, the, the black youth by feeding them poison culture. You don't need to do that. You, you just need to tweak the algorithm in the background. That's what Ice Cube's saying with the, the, the le- record, uh, record label and the lawyers who owned it. If you were a, uh, a group of black kids in fucking Compton and you were singing about rainbows and starshine in the 90s, you ain't ever going to get fucking played. You're never going to, you are not going to get a job. You're not going to get a record deal. You're not going to get airtime. Oh, shit, no. You a, uh, you, you, you a five-man black crew. And you're talking about uh, love your wife, get a job, have kids, stick around. That won't be polite. But then you start singing about shooting each other and selling weed and big fucking gold chains. Right to cut that fucker a, 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 a deal right now. That's what Ice Cube said. That's what he said. And so if you went along with, if you were listening to this music and you went into that lifestyle, congratulations, you're dead or you're in prison. The outcomes are horrible. The outcomes were atrocious. Yet that's what was promoted by MTV. That was promoted on radio back then. That's what was pushed on the uh, the covers of magazines. That's what's pushed in the culture. That's what's pushed in the movies. That, that we got hit with a with a cultural bomb, and it was meant to do everything that it did. Surprise! And it takes 30, 30 something years. For a dude who was instrumental in it to come out and speak out against it. Because he's sitting there recognizing that holy shit. Things are getting way, 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 way worse. Yeah. Yeah. Ice Cube confirms. Aspects of the machine were behind gangster rap. Wow. Not surprised. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Support you. We kept up to date. Hunt Bill Maher finding out. Hit that subscribe button and make way. Because it's salt. Let's flow.